In the meantime, we want to focus uh, the top of the hour uh, on this story. I have a lot of questions uh, about it as well. We're going to bring into the conversation our friend, Lieutenant Randy Sutton, uh, law enforcement analyst, uh, and he joins me now live. Um, Randy, thanks for being with us here. Uh, and it is unfortunate that uh, you and I speak on the occasion of these mass shootings. Of course, most of them here in the United States. The United States is no stranger uh, to these uh, horrible, tragic events. But Prague in the Czech Republic, uh, one of the jewels of Central Europe, facing such tragedy today. Um, this is a part of the world, a part of Europe that doesn't experience this a lot. That's the thing that struck out to me the most. This is so unusual. Oh, you're absolutely right. The, the crime rate, the violent crime rate in Prague is exceedingly low. The homicide rate is, is I mean, minuscule. Um, so for a, for a mass attack like this to take place, um, it's, it's, it's shocking uh, the entire, uh, you know, the, the, the Czech Republic and, and Europe as well. And it's, it's interesting because the Czech Republic has laws that are relatively similar to the United States when it comes down to uh, gun ownership. Um, they have to go through a, a certain set of procedures, take a, take a training course, uh, but it's, uh, it, it, the guns are, are actually uh, part of the culture of the Czech Republic. And Randy, speaking of the weapons that were used uh, in this horrible attack, we're learning from the Associated Press that the shooter legally owned several guns. Police said he was heavily armed Thursday uh, and was carrying a lot of ammunition. Uh, and you heard there in Matt Finn's report, authorities there in Prague saying that this was methodical, that this was well-planned, well-thought-out, and unfortunately, well executed here. I guess, you know, you have taught so many training courses here in the United States about what law enforcement agencies need to do to prepare and respond to a mass casualty event like this. Uh, and when we're talking about an area of the world, an area of Europe where this is so uncommon, does that lead you to believe or to question whether or not law enforcement agencies there in Prague were up to the task of responding to this? Do they get that training like we get here? And that's a great question. Um, one of the, the, as I combed through the different news reports of this uh, tragedy, there was relatively little said about, uh, you know, the cause of death for the suspect. But in one of the, um, one of the conversations that was had by a government uh, official, the word the suspect was eliminated was, uh, was the chosen word. So that, uh, that phrase or that word that's being utilized in context with the the death of the suspect leads me to believe that there's a strong possibility that he was taken out by law enforcement. Now, you know, re remember, you know, the 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 uh, um, the United States because we've had so many of these active shooter incidents, law enforcement throughout the the nation are trained uh, to deal with situations like this. And the, the training has evolved uh, greatly since uh, the Columbine shooting that, that took place that, that really was a watershed moment uh, when it came down to the, the, the tactics used by law enforcement in the United States. So the question is, uh, since there have been basically no incidents of this, of this level in the Czech Republic, uh, my my thought process is that there probably isn't a great deal of training that goes into the law enforcement community there because they it's not something they've had to deal with, um, you know, to any level. And of course, Randy, now after all of these horrible things happen, the, the immediate question is motive. What may have led <coughs> someone to do something like this? Uh, we still don't have any idea yet on motive. We know he was a student uh, there in the philosophy department at Charles University. Uh, authorities there, though, in Prague ruling out some type of nexus to international terrorism. And unfortunately, you know, rightly or wrongly, you know, some viewers maybe uh, kind of their minds go to whether or not this might have been Islamic jihadi terrorism. Uh, that is not being brought up in this at, at all. So it could be a one off lone wolf random attack here. But there were kind of two separate incidents 
in the run-up to this that no doubt law enforcement is going to be looking at there in the Czech Republic. One of them, um, police believe the gunman killed his father earlier today in his hometown, which is just west of Prague. Also, last Thursday, uh, based on a search of the suspect's home, the gunman was also suspected in the killing of another man and his two-month-old daughter on December the 15th in Prague, so quite a lengthy rap sheet leading up to today's attack. Uh, and that's gonna be part of this investigation, is it not? Absolutely, and and the, the fact that he killed his father, um, that indicates to me no, no nexus to terrorism unless they're, you know, unless he was afraid that his father, you know, had information and, and was going to go to authorities about it. But, uh, you know, that's, that's, this is gonna be part of the, the uh, lengthy investigation that will take place as a result of this killing. And of course, once again, you know, we are, we are left wondering on the motivations. You know, we, we all wanna know why. And, uh, you know, the fact that this guy had no criminal history at all, um, you know, similar to, to laws in the United States, if you are a convicted person in the Czech Republic, you're forbidden to have firearms. Of course, we all know how that works in the United States, where the you know the, the people that have that have you know committed numerous crimes can always find a weapon. But uh, the, it sounds to me like this individual possessed these weapons legally and lawfully, and uh, and uh, has no criminal history at all. Yeah. Great student. So you, you know, once again, we're we're left wondering why, right. and that's of course the question that hopefully law enforcement we, we will be able to determine once they go through all of his uh, all of his uh, electronic uh, devices and and do a search of his home and his vehicle if he has one. Try to determine if there was any uh, since this was so well planned. There's a very good possibility that he left a manifesto or something yeah. of that nature. Right. And, and, you know, his victims, those who were injured, I mean, they may have known this, this shooter. I mean, they're all in the same school at the same university together. It's the same philosophy department. Authorities say, you know, the number of fatalities could rise in the next couple of days. We don't know the name of the shooter or the <clears throat> suspect. We don't know the name yet, Randy. Uh, of the at least 15 victims in this. And, and might I add, Prague is a huge destination uh, for study abroad students, not only for, from the United States, but all across the West as well. So that could be a possibility as well that, you know, all of these students are not Czech Republic citizens. They could be from other countries as well. I was thinking of that today. That has to be taken into consideration, right? Of course, and also the, the fact that he chose um, basically his st old stopping grounds where he's a student, um, you know, this, this would indicate, you know, the, very something similar to the workplace violence that we've seen take place in the United States as well, where um, individuals feel like they've been victimized in some form or fashion, uh, perhaps being bullied by other students. You know, this is one, this is one of the things that will have to be um, you know, discovered through the investigation, interviews with his uh, friends or acquaintances and family. You know, did he feel like uh, like he was being uh, being bullied? Um, but you know, when, when we're we're looking at he was a suspect in the killing of a of a man and a and a and a baby um, uh, just days ago or a week ago. And then you know the discovery of the of the, the killing of his father today, all led up to his determination and and the fact that that uh, you know he was planning on committing suicide, which is not unusual in these situations at all to either you know take their own life or force the police to kill them. This is you know this is something that is rather common in in incidents of uh, of mass shootings. Yeah, and unfortunately, you know. You and I, Randy, last spoke on the occasion of a mass shooting uh, on the campus of an American university mere weeks ago. Uh, and of course, there in Prague, uh, one of these key destinations in Europe, especially around Christmas time, I had some friends there in Prague, uh, reached out to them. Yes, they're safe, but they saw all of this commotion there, all of the 
uh, you know, emergency management vehicles. And so a really, really scary time there, especially around the Christmas holiday. Randy, just lastly, what are you going to be keeping tabs on as this story goes on? Well, I, I, you know, like everyone else, I want to know the motivation behind it. And um, I, I don't know how forthcoming police are in the Czech Republic. I don't know if they feel it's it's their duty to come forth. You, you know, in America, um, the, the administrations of police agencies, law enforcement agencies are, you know, facing enormous pressure to uh, to be forthcoming with information uh because that's that's our culture i don't know if that is the same in uh in the czech republic so we'll have to wait and see the the information that comes out that is given to the public from the uh the the czech republic police agencies all right uh randy sutton we'll leave it at that we do appreciate you coming on and offering your insight into such a horrible horrible story and we'll talk soon thanks so much thank you all right. Uh, in the meantime, I want to put up uh, this post there on X as well. Take a look at this. Um, the Czech embassy in Washington, D.C., posting this photo saying flags there are flying at half staff in honor of the victims of the shooting that took place today at the Charles University in Prague. We express our sincerest condolences to the families of the innocent victims who lost their lives. So see there the Czech embassy on Embassy Row in Washington, D.C. Let's take a quick commercial break. We have more top headlines on this Thursday when we come back.